welcome in. It's Robin Robin with my crochet small business called Sweet Beans Crochet, where I make and then sew my crochet plushies. So welcome on in. If you're new here, hi. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Uh, we're going to do another market week. So this whole week is me filming, trying stuff out, little pattern testing, <sighs> packing in order. So come on in. Let's hang out, grab a whip, and I'll see you in a second. Hi, guys. Let me just show you what a good Sunday looks like, okay? Whip, cute new Amy sticks, puppy, mountain of yarn. I feel like we are in Dora. Whip, puppy, mountain of yarn. <laughs> okay, well, in all seriousness, I just wanted to show you guys me using them in real time. I wanted to show you guys the eyeballs because oh my goodness. And this is the, uh, why do I want to say anti-gravity crochet? It might be anti-gravity crochet. That might be her name. I can tell you. Zero gravity crochet. Yeah, this is her little cow pattern. So I'm just adding the eyeballs, closing the head up and I will be done with her. I have my, I'm painting my safety eyes back there for the big jumbo black bunny that I wanna finish for the pattern test. And I'm gonna be making it a big blue hood. I think it'll have blue eyes, blue hood. That's what I'm thinking it'll be. I haven't made that yet. And I'm looking over here because I wanna make a lunar moth from the little moth pattern that I was sent by knotted cat that was her name by knotted cat so i'm gonna be doing her moth pattern i want to do a little lunar moth and i just got my joanne's delivery so i'm gonna be unboxing that in just a second for the big bear and i'm gonna be trying it out we're gonna try out big bear you want to try out big bear baby bear yeah this is my bestie for the resty you know she likes when i crochet because we get really comfortable on the couch and we watch tv yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's like, oh, the cutest little cow in the world. I do have to say, I will criticize one little itty bitty little thing about this pattern. Sorry. Let me pause my anime. Oh, I started watching Hunter x Hunter, so <laughs> I'm always watching something. So, hi. So I finished the zero gravity crochet cow I love it I love that it's um no so it's actually I don't mind I like it um but I don't particularly like the instructions for the ears um this is coming from someone who's only made a handful of cows in my crochet career I would really like some more direction with where to put the ears maybe it's just as you know for preference but I would like more direction uh, it only said what rows to um, put them in, but there was, like, no picture, and it didn't say, like, how many stitches behind the eyes or, like, really how to attach them. So that's just me coming from, like, not, like, an insecure point of view from crocheting cows, but when I'm following, like, a purchase pattern, um, a lot of the time, maybe I'm just spoiled, uh, so take this with a grain of salt. The pattern itself is amazing, and I love that she gives you so many options. I like that she tells you how to use all the colors. I like a lot of stuff about it. I like that it's no so. I like a lot about this pattern. It's a really cute, tiny cow. Um, but I just wish there were more directions for the ears with, like, how far from the like how many stitches from the eyes I feel like normally I'm given that direction so I was looking for that direction and wore a picture to count myself and there was nothing so I'm just also not very comfortable crocheting cows um obviously I crochet a lot of bunnies and like dolls and other animals you know um, but not cows so I wish there was more directions okay enough about that I'm about to go make a million more of these And I want to make the moth, and I want to make Kato, and I want to make bunnies. <laughs> hey, it's Monday, March 18th. I am on lunch. And in my bag today, I brought blush and white. 
our cream. And I was going to make a little strawberry cow from uh, zero gravity crochet pattern to make, you know, the little rainbow of little cows, which I still plan on doing. But on my lunch today, I think I'm gonna try out, I think it's the Plushy Co. I purchased quite a couple patterns yesterday uh, because of St. Patty's Day. There were a lot of sales on Etsy. So I see that in my future. I'm gonna just try it out. I purchased their squid pattern. There is a little squid and a big squid and I don't wanna give up on ocean animals. I am near the ocean and I know a lot of people do the ocean themed stuff and I, you know, as much as I wanna stay individual, these little squids are so cute. So I'm thinking of maybe filling the little bathtub up with a couple of their squids, uh, maybe, and some worry whales. I know I wasn't really gonna restock them. I don't know. I don't really know how I'm feeling. This morning I had this little vision and I feel like, I still like having the ocean stuff as a part of my display. So I think I'm gonna be working on that. We'll see what I do. So maybe I'll be making a pink squid Maybe I'll just stick with the cow for now, but ah. But let me just say, since I should be market prepping, I do have the cows in my plans, and then I do have um, I have it in my notebook. I wrote it all down, but I have like a little map out of the stuff I want to be producing each night. So, quick update: this is how much I was able to get done. That's a lot. I feel like for a thirty-minute break. Hey, it's Tuesday on my lunch break. I have my calendar here to go over some plans with you because I always forget this when I go to film. And I just wanted to let you know what's going on in my noggin. <laughs> so um, when I get home, a couple of things that I wanna do are I wanna paint some 20 millimeter eyes green and blue for some projects that I wanna, I wanna complete um, because I don't wanna dig into the stash that I've made for sales. So I'm gonna paint some blue and green 20 millimeter eyes. I'm gonna unbox a couple things. I wanna pack my order, order number two, which is two pairs of large safety eyes. So I'm excited for that tonight. I'm gonna to be getting some thank you cards, which I failed last time I didn't have the cards. So now I have them for any future orders. Um, I started a couple cows, which hopefully I might finish now on my lunch. So I started two more cows. Um, hopefully I can finish the cows. I want to make Asta the dragon a couple purchase pa I purchased a couple patterns on St. Patty's Day So that's my goal is to complete a couple of those. I've had them on my mind. So Asta the dragon I want to finish a pattern test. I Cro I think her name is Crojo Mojo, but she is so fun. Her name is Susan If any of you guys have worked with Susan or heard about her work or seen her stuff She is such a funny person <laughs> and um, I got chosen for one of her bunny patterns Which is a boy and a girl pattern. So I'm in the middle of making the girl actually if you want to see a little sneaky peeky This is her like bottom half. Those are her little toes um, and her big belly. So I'm doing a pattern test with her and it's going very well so far. So fun. And it's such a cute little bunny, by the way. So that's cool. Mm. And then also I'm in a pattern test for the moths, which is... I think it's by Knotted Cat. Am I crazy? I think it's Knotted Cat. Uh, and she's got these little moth patterns. And I made one of them, but I want to make like... I want to have a total of at least five to bring to the next market. I can't make a hundred of everything. I'm one human who crochets for this whole business technically. So I'm not going to beat myself up about not having a million of each product, but I definitely want to make at least have at least five on my table. So I'm going to make four more moths. That's my list for me to get done when I get off from work today, which sounds a little bit crazy. <laughs> like, how am I going to do all that stuff? Um, and I also want to film a video of me testing out baby bear, so we'll see how that goes. Guys, we have to stop meeting like this. But I got some orders. <laughs> um, I purchased stuff that I now have. I have never ordered from Canva, okay? I use it. I use Canva all the time uh, for like all of my signage and 
everything okay i use canva for everything but i've never purchased from them i actually got all of my like business stuff from vistaprint because they had a big sale and it made more sense for me to do it through vistaprint but i realized that i didn't have any thank you cards so i designed them and it looked like their shipping was pretty quick and it was i placed this order i think last thursday and they came so quick so let me just show you guys uh, what my thank you cards are going to be looking like so it says thank you so much for shopping small and then let's get, let's get social. I wasn't sure if I said let's get connected or let's get social, but one of those. Uh, it says let's get social and then the QR code, which is my, now it has all the links to all my social medias and storefront and all that. So that's exciting. I finally have thank you cards for people who purchase things that are not just plushies or can go with plushies too. So I feel good about that. And I got the big sorry I keep wanting to call it big bear I'm sure I've called a big bear quite a bit in this video but a uh, big big twist baby bear so exciting I have checked my Joann's I feel like two to three times a week okay since the whole big bear thing came out and I feel like it's been like two weeks now of it being like released so I finally grabbed me some online. They finally had stuff in stock that I was able to order. So here we are. This is how she looks. Sorry, this is terrible. Let me just came. So it came in this big bag. I got basically one of each color that they had in stock. The only thing I did not pick up was grays. I don't feel like I need grays. I really don't use gray. I feel like I always choose colorful colors so I chose everything but gray is kind of what I ordered and I really 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 wanted brown and those have been like completely out of stock so I looked at all three shades of brown that they offered I can't get it so uh, sadness but blue I am so excited so yeah you guys this looks and feels like posh but softer um there she is up close. Let me just grab my posh in a second. And the tones are muted, I think, is also what they did. So they muted the tones of posh. But so cute. I love these tones. I feel like these are super cute. The vibe I am feeling. I'm going, <laughs> going for that rainbow, rainbow-ish style. This was when I made the little stitch that I had and then like the yarn barf that still is attached to it. Disgusting. So this is Blueberry Smoothie Posh and this is, what shade, what color are you? Blue Skies and Baby Bear. So even the tones here, um, Posh is a little bit brighter and this is definitely more of a toned down blue, but it looks baby blue. But now comparing, this is very baby blue. So I'm excited. I kind of want to crochet something that I've been crocheting a lot right now. I want to make, I don't know if I want to do it in this yarn, but I'm going to make one of the little baby cows that I've been making. So I, I've every single day, kind of, I've been making uh, the anti Zero Gravity Crochet. I keep wanting to say anti-gravity. <laughs> Here are the little cows that I made from her pattern. Um... So maybe I'm going to make one. I'm already working on a blue and a green one in uh, Sweet Snuggles Light. But I'm going to work on one in Big Twist Baby Bear. And just see the size difference from like a regular size. I think this is size 7 chenille yarn compared to a... That is a size 5 on their website. So is it size 5? Baby Bear... Yeah, it says six on the packaging, but they did state in this website, on their Joanne's website, that that is incorrect. Hey, uh, with the crochet tea, what do you guys know about Joanne's going bankrupt? You guys heard about that? <laughs> Are they going bankrupt? I feel like they're getting all of her money. And they're going bankrupt? They're really, like, they're really, really happening? Um, Tell me if you've heard that too. If it's a lie, please tell me too. If that's, is that a lie? Is that a, is, are they kidding? 
So yeah, I'm gonna make some more uh, zero gravity crochet cowsies in the baby bear. And I do have a couple things I wanna finish. So I had the pattern tests, which was Scarlet and Belle, which were the bunnies from Studio Stitch CA. And she's so sweet and her bunnies are so cute. Favorite bunny pattern before, um, before adding all the accessories, like I just love her base bunny pattern, but then adding all the accessories, they're so cute. So this is Scarlet. I made her lavender, <laughs> um, so she doesn't have the red hood and I gave her a little, I feel like it's like a little cro croquet, croquette bow and the purple eyes. And she's just living her best lavender life over here. I just can't get over her. And her sister, Belle the fairy, I could just see them holding hands and like, you know, prancing around the meadow, but they are just so cute. So that is Belle and she's got the wings in the back. I feel like I grab her a lot. Like I've been grabbing, very gripping her for all the photos and her wings just keep tilting like a little bit. I Maybe I should sew them down, like the top parts down, but I didn't do that. I just sewed down the center so she can, she she's not spinning. She could just tilt. Okay. And I started working on the black uh, Scarlet, which I was going to give her. I'm still thinking of doing it, but the um, the pattern test wanted us to submit our photos. And I know, I don't feel like I'm going to finish this by the time she wants photos. <laughs> but I'm working on a black Scarlet. So she's going to have a blue hoodie and I'm so excited. But she's not done yet. And I don't think I'm going to get to her because I'm going to put off making the hood for a minute. Um... I want to focus on working with the new yarn and I'm going to focus on working through my list for market prepping because I made a list. Your girl finally has a list. Before, let me just say, you know, it's your business. It's your market. It's your table. It is whatever you want it to be. And for my first three, four, five months of selling with my little business so far, I have just been making new patterns like I've been trying new things seeing feeling it out and sometimes you'll make one thing like I made one mushy boy I'm never making a mushy boy again like not like that pattern at least you know and you're gonna figure out what you like and what you don't like and what you want to carry and what you don't want to carry and I'm in the stage of sweet beans crochet where I'm figuring out what I want to consistently carry and not and I'm sorry if I'm just speaking too much about this but I'm going to be focusing on making things that I really enjoy making. And you should do. You should enjoy what you create. And if you enjoy creating a million of those little cute bees, make a million of those little cute, you know, do what you want to do. And um, I forget where I was going with that. <laughs> but I wanted to just say, make what you want to make. It's your business. And you're the own boss of yourself. So if you decide to switch directions in the middle of doing what you're doing and you want to start making headbands or scrunchies or you want to add something else to your table freaking go for it <laughs> because you can you can you're your own boss and you can do that so what I plan on working on I want to do like a little series on my table so obviously I have bunnies and I'm going to do I need to make bean the bunny which is a free pattern on Instagram by Nana Crochet and Lil Lo Lil's Lovies uh, they have a free Bean the Bunny pattern. Uh, so I'm going to make a little rainbow of Bean the Bunnies. And then I'm going to have obviously my extra large bunnies behind them or in the same area. So that there's a like a draw to the area and then obviously an affordable section for people to purchase off of. And on top of that, I also want to have a little dragon section. So I know I talked about it on my lunch break, but I bought Asta the dragon, which looks like a medium to small size dragon. I'm hoping we'll see how big she turns out. I'm not sure yet, uh, but I know Kato and Minnow are big dragons that I want to, you know, I'm going to make another Kato so that I have a big dragon for people to look at. And uh, underneath my big bunnies, I'll have the little bee in the bunnies and underneath Kato and the Minnows, I want to have like Asta. I'm hoping Asta is small enough for me to sell. There's also a free Instagram pattern I have made before. I don't know if I wanna use that for market prepping. It is an option though. I, I do have it linked below and I did make one of them in my career. <laughs> I've made one of those. Uh, the pattern works up pretty easy, but I just wanna try something new and I really like the way Asta looks. So that's my little spiel. That's what I, I that's just kind of what I see. I see a little, I see 
having section of like the bigger not too many but bigger stuffies that are obviously more expensive and then all of the little ones are not super many but medium sized that can kind of like go along with the theme uh either rainbow or could be like elemental but I, that's kind of what i see uh, so that people actually have something that they could actually purchase like if i went to this market i could purchase the 30 dollar item i obviously can't purchase the 100 dollar item all the time but if it was a special occasion you could so that's kind of what i see um i want to have obviously some small items i haven't chosen the small items yet i know before i was talking about looking for octos and there is a very sweet um I think she does YouTube and Instagram, but I'm going to put her name here. She sent me her octopus pattern, so I'm going to be trying an octopus, you guys. <laughs> I've been talking about this. I have not done one since I did those octos at my third or fourth market, so I haven't done octos in a hot minute. But I do still have the stingray, so I'm going to have the stingray, the mermaid. I want to do some of the little worry whales. I have the plushy co, I think that's what it is, plushy co squid pattern that I'm going to be doing for the first time soon. And I'm going to be trying out that creator's uh, octopus pattern. So those are kind of the sea creatures that I'm thinking of carrying. Obviously, right now I'm doing the little rainbow cows. So I don't know what other farm life I kind of want to bring along with those. Right now I do have Huey, which is a big snuggler, um, big snuggler cow. So that can be Huey can be my highlight big item. And then underneath can be all of the mini cows so that's just kind of what I foresee what I'm thinking what I'm hoping for this to be I don't uh, even know if I have a market this weekend because I didn't purchase it I am giving myself grace and um like last time I had the market I purchased it very last minute and I did it and it was exciting and I didn't feel like throwing up all week <laughs> if you guys know what I mean I mean when you sign up all in advance and you like prep yourself I mean yes it's good to be prepared just like I'm pre I've been preparing but I really got in my head about it and for the first like three markets I like made myself sick worrying about things that weren't even really that important and some of the time even the things I would stay up to like do till 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. I would stay up the night before to do didn't even really matter so if you're prepared you're gonna be prepared and the amount of inventory that you have is fine bring as much as you can but you're one person and or maybe two if you do it with a friend and it's okay. Whatever you bring is okay. You're your own boss. You can make whatever you want. You can make however many of pe think the pieces that you want. Like I started out with my first table. I made literally one of everything and just brought it. And that did well for me. I, it was during Christmas and it was in a hot area and it did well. So you're going to do fine no matter what you bring. I'm just trying to bring a little motivation into this. Motivating myself too. Uh, but you can start wherever and then wherever you end up is just, that's just your journey. So my journey is taking me to the couch to go watch some Seven Deadly Sins. I tried watch, okay, on a little anime spiel, okay. Uh, I tried watching Hunter Hunter for like a couple days. I watched, I think like 20 episodes, like almost the first whole season. And I really couldn't get into it, you guys. Do I, should I give it more time? There's so many seasons, or I feel like there's so many episodes. Do I keep going? Should I just give up? Do you guys like Hunter Hunter? <laughs> uh, I really like Seven Deadly Sins and I was on season four, I think. Um, and I just took a little pause. Like I'm in a good spot where I was like, okay, like I can pick up another anime and not to drop it. But um, so that's like, now it's a comfort anime. And I'm like, okay, wait, I want to go back. So now I'm watching Seven Deadly Sins again. Uh, I couldn't really get into One Punch Man. It's, it's like more boyish. I feel like it gives me Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z vibes, which is such a good anime, but it, it's like, definitely caters to the boys. <laughs> I mean, I really enjoy Demon Slayer, uh, and I really enjoy Naruto a lot. I, I like the stories of those a lot, and I don't really know how I feel about the story of One Punch Man. I like the characters, but I don't feel as involved as I do emotionally feel involved with all these other anime, so that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go watch Seven Deadly Sins. Thank you so much for coming with me. I'll show you what I make. Aren't her bunnies just so cute? I feel like she just, this this pattern is so cute. <laughs> I didn't give him a tail, but I'm going to give him a white fluffy tail. I love it. I love these bunnies. And you know what would be so cute? I don't have this yarn, but the Elise fuzzy yarn. Oh my goodness. I see so many people using it and it looks so cute. I don't know. I haven't looked into purchasing it, so if it's expensive, I don't know, but it looks very cute and it's very fluffy and I feel like it would make these bunnies so cute. If you guys make her an Elise, can you please tag me in your post or if you, if you
if you want. <laughs> I'm interested. I want to know. I want to know. But these bunnies are so stinking cute, you guys. Pack my second ever order with me. So I have the sticker here. She ordered 20 millimeter Demacia and Freljord, which is the gold and blue sparkles. Oh my goodness. Don't mind my nails. I'm getting a fill tomorrow. Don't look at them. <laughs> So I'm going to put the sticker on the back, naming what they are. I already prepped the eyes, like everything's already all done. Like the papers cut, fitted, um, and the eyes are already secured to the paper here, or cardstock. So there's the eyes. <laughs> Trying not to get my face in it. Um, Okay, well, oops, it's gonna focus on my face anyway. I'm gonna put in my thank you card. So it says, thank you so much. The Sweet Beans Crochet, the Bun Sticker, and I'm gonna put this on the outside, but uh, warning, contents may cause extreme happiness. So these are all of my stickers. And then here is the Poly Mailer. And we're gonna go whoosh. so that's it everything's in here honestly i packaged the entire thing one whole time and then realized i didn't put the backers in there so i had to unpackage my own package and give her backings so now this is set to go if you're watching this video i really hope you love your eyeballs i loved making them and they make plushies so special okay so that's the package i'm gonna drop it off tomorrow I am going to finish off the pattern test I have for Crojo Mojo, finish off the two zero gravity crochet cows, work with some baby bear yarn, and catch up with you in a second. Hey guys, it is Wednesday morning. I have all day today to crochet, and I am crocheting a pattern test for Crojo Mojo, which is Bun Bun, and then she has a husband, Bun Bun, um, or boy, brother, I don't know. Um, boy version so I'm in the middle of the girl and this is such a cute bunny pattern you guys and it's low so so um, depending on what you're looking for I mean you know I, I'm doing all the bunny patterns because um, I'm obsessed but uh, this is pretty low so and it creates such a cute little girl and I think next time I do it I will give her I don't know different colors I'll do different colors uh, but I popped in here to show you guys how to use Ami sticks. So I was commenting in the comments with Melly Inspired Crochet, and we were talking about the Ami sticks. And someone had commented asking, like, what are they? How do you use them? So this is like one of the Ami sticks. I got two of them from her, so I got two bunnies. But um, how to use them? So I'm in the middle of crocheting and sewing on parts. And this bunny happens to need the sewing for the ears. So I've made the ear and I'm going to place it where I want it placed. So when I look at it, I want it right there. So when I look at it, I want it there. I'm going, this is not a very good tutorial, by the way. I'm just like explaining. <laughs> I'm not here to teach necessarily. Um, but then you push this through the head and the ear right where you wanted it. So like, that's how I'm going to do it. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Everyone, you can, you can crochet however you want. You can use these however you want, but this is how I use them. And now I'm going to take my darning needle, which I use Hobby Lobbies. They're like a dollar and you get four of them. I love them. I've purchased so many packs of them and I lose them all the time. They're, it's all over my car, my house, everywhere. Everywhere you look, you'll find these things. All my siblings and um, my seven-year-old, she finds them everywhere. <laughs> And like, I think she's hiding them too. I think she hides them from me to see if I can find where she puts them. Okay, but then I sew on. I'm doing whip stitching through this ear, by the way. That's how I'm securing it. Whip stitching. I can't tilt my camera down because you're not on the tripod right now, but...
It took me so long to feel comfortable sewing body parts on. Like, you don't want to ruin your plushie after you spent all this time making all these little body parts. Like, feeling comfortable then sewing it on to, like, the right spot. I've sewed on so many arms, like, wonky and legs wonky. And, I mean, even now, it still happens. You, I just have to be gentle and remove it, you know? Happens way less often, though. <laughs> okay, and then what I do is... For instance, the tail of this one ended up right here. I, I pushed it through here. So now I'm gonna push the tail of this one through the same hole. And now I'm gonna tie a double knot in here to secure these ears together back here behind her head. And now I'll be able to take out my sewing stick and her ears are secured. So mini Amy stick sewing example. Uh, but yeah, this is Kurojo Mojo, and y'all, she is so cute. I'm so excited to make her brother. I really should be market prepping. I really should be making other things right now. But I really want to make this. Well, and I'm in the pattern test, but her pattern's beautiful and already it's like perfect. So there's that. I also wanted to show you some of the body parts that I have partially completed. So maybe I can finish those today by me recording it here. Maybe I will force myself to do it, you know what I mean? So these are Bean the Bunny ears. I made a blush colored because I wanted to make a pink Bean the Bunny. I also got a custom order for a hot pink Bean the Bunny at my last market. So I wanted to make the blush one to send the lady an example um, before I made her hot pink one. So I'm making Bean the Bunny in pink. And then these are body parts to Zero Gravity Crochet her cow. So I'm making a mint cow. I was kind of thinking, well, I'm not going to do it, I don't think right now, but they're like fruit flavored cows. So it's like the kiwi, I have the blueberry right here, and then I already have the strawberry made, and what was I going to do another one? Oh, and I have the purple, which could be like grape. So I have the fruit, zero gravity crochet. These still need bodies and heads, obviously, but there's that. I feel like last night I could have been more productive, so I'm not going to bash myself too hard, but I definitely didn't complete, like, I mean, I already had most of this done, so all I did last night was this and up, which is not much. It's not much, but it is, pro any progress is progress, right? So now I have all day and I'm really going to grind and do the best that I can with crocheting today and producing as much as I can. <sighs> Be nice to yourself, okay? <laughs> Checking in a little bit later. I have got my nails done. They are no longer Frenchies. They're no longer Frenchies. Canela's a part of the vlog. So I am finishing up the boy. What do we think? You know what? Now that I did the entire face, I'm remembering that when I made him, I wanted to give him I wanted to give him Dutch face, so I wanted him to be a Dutch bunny, and I totally forgot about it. Now that I'm excited to tell you guys about this bunny, I brought the black yarn and everything to make him Dutch. Okay, well, oopsies. Um, I timed myself making the entire thing, and I'm, I'm about um, an hour and a half, so I think with like the ears and everything I'm gonna say two hours on this dude. Not that the ears take 30 minutes, but because I'm like, I rounded all, all my times. Um, and I kind of paused my timer and forgot about it. So, uh, I'm going to say two hours. So he took me two hours. I'm going to finish up his ears. I forgot to make the color changes. That bums me out a little bit. I was excited to make him a Dutch boy, but cause, and then I wanted to do like the little pants, like he's going to have little suspenders and he's a little Dutch boy cause he's a Dutch bunny, but now I, I messed up. Okay. It's okay. He's cute. So he'll be with, he'll be albino, albino bunny with his girlfriend. So. That's where we're at. I love this pattern. Um, and I feel like two hours is pretty quick for bunnies. Um, depending on the pattern, you know what I mean? Like, this is a good size for two hours. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to charge yet. I'm still thinking about it. I did not weigh my yarn, which I will do next time I make him or her. But they're so cute. I know he looks weird with no ears right now. Okay, but there were a couple things I forgot to tell you this morning. So, I applied applied to have a special logo made. She just scared the heebie-jeebies out of me. 
Um, I applied to have a custom logo made by Lala Cloud Crochet, which is an amazing crochet artist, but she also does little artworks and logos for people. And I saw her post about her doing one logo for another artist and saying that her commissions were open. So I got a logo done by her and you already know who's in the logo. So, or maybe you don't, um, but I'm getting my two buns uh, on there. Uh, it's still in the works. So uh, she is gonna let me know by Friday. So I, I hope that is included. I think that'll be included in this video. So I can show you what the updated logo for Sweet Beans Crochet is. But I have a Rex boy and his ears are up and I want him to be baby blue, kind of like my tattoo here. So I haven't really showed this to you guys, but uh, here is my Maui and he's got his ears up. And this is Hinata, but Hinata's ears are down. So uh, Hinata is my girl and she's going to be pink with her lop ears. So I'm really excited to get the logo back. She's working real hard on it and she's just the sweetest human. So if you want a logo created for your company, go check her out. Uh, I think right now she's just doing commissions on her DMs, or there's a link. Okay, that's enough of me rambling. <clears throat> so after I finish this little dude, um, you guys need to tie my hands down. Stop me from applying to pattern tests. Stop me from applying to pattern tests. I can't stop. It's, it's like this is now my full-time job. I don't want any other job other than this job. I want this to be my full-time job. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun pattern testing, and I'm currently in the middle of Halen, Halen, which is the moth with knotted cat. I'm in the middle of Crojo Mojo. I'm at the end. I finished Scarlet and Bell with Studio Stitch CA. Just these are amazing artists who make amazing patterns. I want to make a pattern. These people are so so sweet, down to earth, and they are make beautiful designs. It just make it's inspiring, you know. So. Uh, working with these people is really like fantastic and I applied today <laughs> for like five I don't know I feel like I applied to so many I'm um, just having having a having a ball over here um, I'm gonna be honest I'm not applying to every pattern I see I'm not trying to over induce myself or stress myself out I'm really going for bunnies uh, not to have like a bunny cult but I want a bunny cult I want my whole table to just be bunnies uh, I like other animals too. I think they're cute and I will, you know, make other animals, but uh, I feel like I need to try out every bunny that there is. I, I mean, if, you know, not every single bunny, but I feel like right now I need to make like a, a bunny time lapse, like all the bunnies I've created, because at this point it's an obsession and it's not a bad obsession. And there are, I gotta say, I already told you guys in one other video, but there is one bunny pattern that I don't like making. So I'm not trying to bash anyone, not trying to make, give anyone bad, you know, reputation or say anything bad about people, about people. It's not about the people. It's just, I don't like making this pattern. So there is a bunny pattern I don't like making, but, um, everything so far, like, look how stinky cute they are. Um, and actually I'm going to be honest in her pattern for this one specifically, I like this one. This isn't the one I was talking about, but I'm just saying maybe in another video or at another time, we'll talk about the, the bunny pattern tea with like all the bunny patterns that I've done. Um, not all of them I pattern tested, like half of them I've purchased, so half are, half are like tests now and the other half are purchases. Um, this boy bunny, he is not meant to wear pants like, well he's meant to wear pants like this, but he's not meant to not have a shirt. I made him topless because I wanted, I had this vision of a Dutch boy and I failed because I forgot to make him Dutch because that would have been the pun, I wanted it to be punny. Now I have to make another little Dutch boy, which I will do, but not, not today. Uh, but only took two hours. Cutie patootie. And the eyes match the overalls. I'm excited. Hopefully I can take photos of him tonight. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember. Let me see if I can find him. One sec. I just had a sneeze attack. Oh my gosh. The pollen outside in Florida is literally, like, if you could physically, it'll fall on your shoulder. It's like a lump of pollen. I think it's oak pollen. It's terrible. Okay. Um, so the release for today, I don't really know what to do because I already patterned, like I already tested it. Sorry. I already tested it and posted about it and the release day is today. So I feel like making another Huey 
it's such a beautiful pattern and it's not meant to have strawberries for horns i did this ruffling here but the natural pattern it does have the heart on the back it does have everything else but it's not i added the green so everything else is correct and it's supposed to be a baby highland cow so it's supposed to have little face ruffles here and i did not do that um she gave us the freedom i think her name is zorana i'm so sorry if i got that wrong um at Don Crochet, gave us the freedom to do whatever colors, kind of like theme it how we wanted, and there were a couple people who didn't do the heart, I think, uh, but Huey. So Huey's releasing today, such a cute little pattern, and I don't know if I'm going to have time to make another one today because I have so many other things that I wanted to do, but I had Huey listed for $45 at my last market. It has a little tag on it, made with love. So um, that was my Huey. I don't know if I had anything else to tell you guys. I wanted to tell you about the logo. I told you I wanted to tell you about pattern testing. Yeah, I, you guys need to just tie me down. Tie me down, block me on Instagram. Don't let me apply to more pattern tests. I mean, I have time and I'm completing them like the same day. It's just, that's all I'm doing. It's addicting, it's fun. People are so friendly. This community, it's like, it's warm and comfortable. You know what I mean? That's like the best way I could describe it. And when I do have a pattern of my own one day, I'm so excited to host a pattern test. Like, that's it's just such a good environment. Krojo Mojo is hilarious, by the way. <laughs> I know I told you guys, but she's funny. She's, like, the funniest artist. And her introduction page to all of us was really, really funny. So I'm going to finish up my boy here, give him his earsies, and then maybe I'll work on Huey. There's a bunch of other things, y'all, that I told you I wanted to make, so... Let's see what I can do. Ready? Oh no, my dog thinks we're going somewhere. I just meant to you guys. And... <laughs> Y'all, this is so cute. Does anyone else, um, when they crochet, I don't use stitch markers, I use black yarn, and normally, honestly, I use like the same one on every project until it frays all the way up, and because I use the same piece after I'm done like with each round or each body piece, like when I don't need my stitch marker anymore, I will like put it on my body somewhere, and then I will just walk around with yarn attached to me, or it'll fall off of me. And it's oh it's like always in my vicinity, but I can never find it. So like I lose my stitch markers, but they're not it's not like a plastic stitch marker, it's like just a piece of scrap yarn. Does anyone else do that? Does anyone else use scrap yarn? That's what I do. Acrylic yarn, any acrylic yarn. Um, but here he is, you guys! The little overalls are so cute. And I just saw someone else in the uh chat made a little floaty for him, so he's very you can decorate him however you want. And same thing with her. I mean, I'm sure I think there was a bow in her pattern. I didn't, I should look at that, but a little bow and a bow tie. Maybe they could both have a bow. So stinking cute. Okay, now I have to move on. I must move on. I must do another thing. Morning guys. After my last check-in with you, I created another Huey the Snuggler cow. And I'm in the middle of doing a quick pattern test for a bunny. Let me show you how far I got with that. Do, 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 do. And I think I am going to be purchasing the event this weekend. I don't have many small items. As you can see, this past whole vlog, I've been making huge things. So I'm going to have to work on some small stuff. Here he is. Uh, he's got a big booty, bo big tail. And he's got these cute little paws. I think it's from Straight Up Crochet. I think that's her name. I will fix that if it's not her name. But I'm gonna finish this little bunny. And honestly, I might make some more um, of these style, but I think my market's on Saturday. So I have tonight, tomorrow night, and that's it. So we'll see. The booth fee looks manageable and it looks like it's indoors, which might help. I don't know. I've never been to an indoor event, so I'll bring you along. I wanted to just show you one more package because I got one more ba uh, bag of Joanne's baby bear. So I'm just gonna show you guys what other colors I got. Got the darker, I think it's teal color. 
literally called teal and this looks like shrimp like i saw this and i was like this needs to be a shrimp it's called shrimp and this one i'm most excited about this one because i don't have many variegated yarn colors in my stash right now and i've been really loving having the bunnies with the little toe beans that are different colors so i think this will be a great toe bean color so that's my little mini haul. Uh, by the way, the little bunny that I made last night, I used the new yarn. So this is a vanilla cake with um, Baby Bear, and it is very soft. It's not as stiff as the Posh was, and I like the stitch definition. So I like it, <laughs> basically. I like it, but... If they're going bankrupt, are we really going to get more of it? Tell me. I don't know. Cutie patootie. I always tell you guys that my bunnies get out. Or she does. Look here. Hi, Kinika. Hi. She just wants me to go bring her to her house and feed her. Come on, Hinata. That's what we're doing. It is Friday morning, peoples. Hi, Maui. Go home. Now we're in her house. That's Maui. It's my dog. You get all the animals this morning. <laughs> Let's go. I'll feed you guys in a minute, okay? She's just gonna come back out. I just wanted to oh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I've been working on or what I did to update you. Tomorrow is my supposed market. There are two that I'm thinking about going to. Um to be candid, one of them is inside of a mall and it looks like it might be a little bit wet outside so that might be the better option. I've never been with these people before. And the other option is like double the distance from me so instead of one hour it is two hours away from me which is a bit of a bit of a drive. I don't know if I'm willing to do that. Not only is it a two hour drive but it's also outside and I really like my outdoor setup, but I don't know if I want to set up when it's like mucky outside. Not that it's going to be raining tomorrow, but it'll be wet. So I'm still thinking I haven't purchased either one of them yet because now, now I'm doing it up to like the last day because everyone, the people that I've been like looking at vending with, they're still looking for vendors. So I know I'm not going to be like rejected. It's just uh, really depends on what I want to be a part of. Look, she came back out. Hi, Hinata. She fits perfectly like through the gate, so I can't really keep her in. Okay, so what I created, I wanted to say I followed a free pattern on Instagram. It's supposed to be a elephant. I hate it, okay? I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Um, it took me like 30 minutes, so really not that long. I need to make it ears, right? But the face, I know like she gave face shaping instructions and I followed them, and I still feel like he's a little bit ugly, so... I don't think I'm, I stopped. I don't think I'm going to be bringing him, obviously. I don't think I'm going to finish the ears. And then I have my green and blue cow. He's actually still on the hook, but I couldn't finish them because I wanted to give them special painted safety eyes, but I don't have the colors that I wanted to give those ones in the size that I needed, so I needed to paint them. Speaking of painting uh, safety eyes, I got the biggest order for uh, safety eyes yesterday. Thank you so much. I know who you are. Um... I don't remember your name off the top of my head. You know, I'm going to find it. See, I'm going to I'm gonna talk about you for a second. Toria from Comfort, from Comfort Loops, thank you so, so much. I'm so excited to start working on your order. Um, in my Square, um, online Square account, I give myself five business days, which technically were on Friday, so it would give me into, like, next Thursday. I really am so excited. It's not going to take me that long. However... Uh, like you'll be getting them before then uh, but I do have the market so it will be after this weekend it'll be on Sunday so currently this is my inventory this bag right here that's already priced in my spreadsheet that is that is done what is not done oh last night I also made these two blueberries so this is that free blue uh, free blueberry pattern on Instagram and I gave them the smileys um, and I made that with Baby Bear, so I wanted to like talk about the Baby Bear experience. I really enjoy Baby Bear. It does not shed. It's like posh size, but softer. I really, really like it. 
So if you want to make any of your amigurumi, like I always use Sweet Snuggles Light and loops and threads like this. So it really make, makes micro, micro mini plushies versions of everything that I do. So I really like it. I wanted to show you one more thing. I think it's in the other, it's in the other room. Okay, I'm going to bring you to my corner back here. So I'm a bit all over the place. And then what I need to do today is tag everything that's in this bin right here that I'm about to show you. But I, I've already slowly been showing you guys what's in here. My yarn closet no longer closes. Like I had to unhinge the top so that it stayed open a little bit because I have too much yarn. Okay. Ah. So this is my bin full of stuff that is not tagged. It's not a full bin. Like half of the bin is full of one of my old like plushy, like my go-to bags. So I just wanted to sit here and show you guys everything that I have to tag. I'm gonna do that, uh, I think, this morning. I'm gonna have a little bit of time before work to do that and put them in my spreadsheet. So there's Huey, Huey's strawberry girlfriend. She already actually has a price tag. She went to a market. But I think because I timed myself now for Huey, like I timed myself with the pattern updates, which is when they fix the pattern when there are issues. So now that there are pattern updates and I don't have to think about the pattern anymore, I think I'm gonna be charging $10 more for Huey for my time. Fly me to the moon and let me paint them all the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Hi guys, as I'm commuting to work, I just wanted to have a little talk with you guys. So the weather is crappy. I did my inventory this morning and I only have like 75 items. Uh, my total like retail cost is I think around $1,400 because a lot of the things that I have right now are big things. And like I said, I love making big things. That's why I've been making so many of them. Uh, and so this morning I was, you know, our brains are terrible things. I was starting to talk myself out of going to market this weekend. Um, or it's not even, it's, it's like a, it's a craft fair inside of a mall. Um, because I don't think the weather is good enough for me to be at the outdoor one. So, you know, I started talking myself out of it. I was like, I don't have enough inventory. It's, you know, the weather is bad and I might not make enough money or, you know what I mean? And I've never vended with these people before, so I don't know how well their event is established with customers. And it is in a mall, so I know there will be Saturday shoppers there anyway. But I started talking myself out of it. And then I realized that I shouldn't be doing that. And that 
$1,300 is plenty. Like for what I'm, what I'm bringing is enough and what I've done is enough. And I stayed up, I've been staying up till like 3 a.m. You know, I'm doing that sleep deprivation thing again. Whenever I market prep, it's just like, I can't help it. I just deprive myself of sleep because I'm too focused on working for the business. And I'm going to do it. I'm not going to let myself talk myself out. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to the mall. I'm going to sell as much as I can. There are a couple things I have to do. <laughs> I have to add eyeballs to the cows. I have to, I want to finish the other two peg dolls so that I can sell four peg dolls. And I am going to finish tagging my items tonight, but I'm not going to let myself not going to let myself sabotage. So that's my word of advice for today. I brought in my bag stuff to make River, which is a, I think it's Raven and Jade, I think is her name on uh, Etsy. I believe I could be totally wrong, but River, baby River is the bunny that you see everywhere. And I've never made one. I've had the pattern, but I'm going to make a river today. And even though it might be a bigger project or it might not be worth it or whatever, I'm not going to talk myself out of that either because I've been really wanting to make a river. So I'm going to do that today guys you won't believe what I just made okay you will not believe it when I tell you this no words just octo guys this is opal a little baby octo I've had this pattern um for a couple weeks now and I've obviously been focusing on a million other things and today I was like I'm gonna just sit down crochet something small. I was thinking of River. I brought some colors for River. Um, and then I thought about it and I was like, you know, I really want to just make and see how long this octopus takes me. The pattern creator is Crochet with a Shroot and she's got this cute little um, octo pattern. There's actually a pack of three. So this is Opal and she has two sisters with different tentacle options. One of them has a ribbon ridging and the other one has six tentacles this one has eight so i chose the one with eight and she is so cute and she, because of the color i did her in she's giving me little frog vibes but i feel like if i have her with all of her little friends i feel like making one of each color minimum for my table and i do think because of the size because i used baby bear so i used the new baby bear yarn in teal I feel like I can only charge $5 for her, but that's okay. It'll give me a $5 item at my table. If I put a keychain on her, I can add her to my $8 keychains. I might do that. My tactic last time at my last market was the lowest item price that I had was $8. And I sold a ton of those little keychains. So I don't feel like having them priced $8 deterred the price any. And... I might do that. I might add keychains and every and have an octo of each color. I also want to go home and make some bees. If you guys have seen Refined Vibes lately, I'm sure you guys know what kind of bees <laughs> I'm going to be making. I, I saw the free pattern pop up on my Instagram. So I'm going to be practicing the sitting bee today. I know there's also a paid version for this pattern. Looks like there's a lot of people coming out this pattern now that it is popular. It seems like um, everyone's looking for the style bee now. So I'm going to be making that. I'm going to be making some sitting bees. I feel like that would be really cute. And by the way, I reached out to the event coordinator today and I emailed her and I just said, you know, do you have any space for any uh, fiber artists? I crochet handmade keepsakes and plushies. And was curious if you already have a crochet artist attending. So that was my way because her event, you can just pay for the event and, and go. So uh, this is my way of feeling it out. I've never been to this event. I've never attended it as a customer, which I want to do before, you know, ideally before attending, but I can't, I don't have time to do that because it is far away from me. And I just want to know if she's going to email me back and be honest, or if I should just pay for the event. I think I will um, because I'm not self-sabotaging. I'm going to do the event. Um, I did just want to see if the coordinator will reach back out to me and if she will tell me if there's another artist. It will not deter me from going. Honestly, it'd be really fun to meet another crochet artist and maybe I'll bring some safety eyes. So it'd be good to know, you know what I mean? But um, I already, what I have is what I have. And if someone else has the same stuff, we have the same stuff. It is a bummer sometimes if all of your stuff is the same because then both of you struggle. So that's never necessarily the best. 
you know, but supporting each other and seeing each other's booths and setups and supporting each other and following after we meet, which happens every event. I feel like I'd meet one crochet artist and we end up being, you know, friends is really nice. It is just hard to be at an event when you have the same stuff. So just, I emailed her just to see. And I want to see if I should bring crochet eyes. That's one of my, that was one of my goals. So it was more so of if I should bring something for these people, because if not, it's going to be at a mall. And I don't know if people who go to the mall crochet, I don't know. You never know who crochets, you know? So I'm going to make one of these in each color of the baby bear that I have. I think that's my, that's my plan. And then maybe making some sitting bees. I could be setting myself up for failure here because I could be telling you I want to do this. And then I've been telling you all week I want to make other stuff too. Like I haven't made a single bean the bunny and I really should have done that. <laughs> I feel like I really should make bean the bunny, but I've been focusing on so many other patterns and I've been making the zero gravity crochet cows. And speaking of zero gravity crochet, I applied for her babies in costumes pattern and got chosen. So I'm going to be making a little dino baby. It's obviously going to be, I think, a pink dino with hot pink down the back. That's what I'm thinking. It might be pink and yellow. I think yellow might be pretty because the baby bear has a really pretty yellow. So I might do that. But I'm going to be pattern testing for a zero gravity crochet. Okay. I mean, all these pattern tests are fabulous. But I counted them up and so far I've been a part of, I think, 16 tests. And 7 of the 16 are bunnies have an issue you know it's just a slight issue very slight I'll check in with you later I have to go back to work I don't know if a lot of you guys who watch my videos already attend markets or if you're people who want to attend your first market if you want to attend your first market comment down below and let me know if you want a tips video because I could make a tips video it seems like throughout my videos I just pop stuff out things just happen and we talk about it and if you watch all my videos you get little tidbits here and there but if you're a new crocheter and you are um, not a new crocheter, but new with like your business and you want to start selling crochet plushies and you want me to make a video about that, I can. But I don't know if the people who watch my videos are all just already established crochet small businesses. So I don't want to make that video if all of us are just established and don't need, you know, the tip. You know what I mean? <laughs> so just curious. Oh, oh no. Opal. Let me know. I'm just, you know, I just want to know. Okay guys, I got these new longer black, so they blend in with the panels. Uh, and they're bigger, but they only fit if I put them in the center rows. And I really like the way this looks. And then I can have these hooks for smaller stuff on the sides. And I have littler, uh, sm smaller baskets. So I think this is great. Way better than the white ones that I have in the bottom of this bag. So those white ones that didn't fit last time that I made work, I really think this is better. So I'm glad we got this set up. Market day. Good morning. Today is the day. The sun is shining. The tank is clean. Hello. I'm getting coffee. Coffee time. We're doing it. We're going to the mall today. It is gloomy outside, but I think it'll be a good shopping day. We'll see. I think I'm prepared. There are, I brought a lot of yarn to just do some crocheting. It is the longest event I have ever attended. I think it's a full eight hours. So I brought a lot of yarn. Normally I crochet anyway in my downtime and normally I'll, you know, stand at my booth and crochet. And then if there's like no people, I'll sit down, but I always greet the people, you know, while I'm crocheting, but I definitely think um, eight hours is a long time. <laughs> so we will see um, how much I can crochet, I guess, today, kind of. And if I can't crochet at all, that's a good sign, so. I just wanted to update you. The event coordinator never responded when I asked her if there were gonna be other crochet artists there. Never responded. After I purchased the event, uh, she sent us an email saying where to meet, when to meet, all that good stuff. So I know she's on her phone. I know she got the message, but she ignored it. So that does not feel the best, I don't like that um I'd rather her have been open you know and just responded to me but it's okay we'll see how it goes also call me a fool because I packed zero snacks we had like nothing that I could bring that was not like refrigerated or 
nothing was snacky in my house and I don't really have time to stop by like a store and I really don't want to spend gas station prices because they have snacks there but they are so expensive I am not about that so I brought a bunch of water <laughs> so I'm gonna be skinny after today or I know I'm gonna be near a food court because that's where they're putting all the vendors so uh, I might get some Chinese so I might be the opposite of skinny today it's fine so I feel so anxious today specifically because I'm gonna be completely by myself like I'm gonna set up by myself I'm gonna break down by myself bring it into this mall by myself be at the mall by myself for eight hours I'm pretty anxious about that I, I mean last time I had Kim's help and this time no one's coming um, I feel nervous to be alone but it's okay, I know I can do it. And actually my setup today is more minimal to keep it simple for me. So it should be easier. And I took some stuff out of my car. I took some stuff out of my car that I didn't need. So I know I can do it, I'm just nervous. Coffee acquired by the way. If you're sleeping on McDonald's lattes, the app makes them cheaper and they're pretty yummy. So, so that's why I went to McDonald's and it was quick, they're super quick in my city at least, so. Oh, I feel so nervous. Okay guys, I went and checked in and I met the coordinators, they're very sweet. There's already a ton of people set up. I'm only, set up started at nine, it's like 9.37 right now, so I still have time. And I don't have too much stuff, so that's one full cart. And this is number two full cart behind me. And half of number two cart is full of yarn because I wanna make stuff, so I am a little bit nervous because I'm by myself and everyone else here seems to be in pairs. It's fine. It's fine, we got this, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit nervous to film in there though because there are so many people, but uh, you might get some silent footage. <laughs> can you believe I did this? Now I just have to hold one on each hand and then we can go inside. packed all up it's been 30 minutes okay guys as you guys can tell this is the next day and I don't know if you've noticed but I always film my recap the same night as my market I also didn't have any exciting post market thoughts I was really tired and well, as you can tell, uh, normally I have a adrenaline dopamine rush after my markets and unfortunately I just had a really strange experience. So let's talk about it. Before we talk about my experience at this market, let's get through the numbers of what sold and did not sell. I start at the highest price item that I carry and go down to the lowest. The highest price item that I carry is Minnow the Sea Dragon from Cozy Wonder Crochet. I have two minnows and because they take me so long and there's so many details involved and they have special eyes, okay, a lot of little details with this dragon, I charge $80 for them. I had two minnows, neither sold. I have Belle the Fairy Bunny, which was a pattern test this past week. Uh, or the week before, as you could see, the Studio Stitch CA, sorry, the Studio Stitch CA. I had one bell and I had her price at $80. Her dress, the flowers, um, there's a lot of little details, her wings, so that's why she is so expensive. I don't expect her to fly off my rack, but she is a beautiful eye-catching piece and I'm so glad that I have her at my table. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bunny. Can't stress that enough. And then I had Scarlet, which is her sister. They're a duo, um, which is also from the Studio Stitch CA. Beautiful patterns. Scarlet it has a hood. I made her purple hood. Um, and I charged 70 for her um, because the hood still takes time. Not as many details as her sister, but still a lot of work. So 
she is $70 and everyone loves them. Uh, so I think probably for the bigger holidays, I'm sure they'll fly off. Right now there's no like holidays necessarily unless someone has a birthday. So I think that might be why they didn't sell. I'm gonna be honest because everyone go like oogles over them because they're so cute. <laughs> um, and then I had just a plain black Studio Stitch CA bunny. I plan on giving her a blue hood. I just didn't have time with this market prep to give her a blue hood. So she will also turn into a scarlet bunny. But currently I charged 65 for her as she was with no extra stuff, just 65 for a super big bunny because she's made out of burnout blanket. So she's pretty big. Then I had two bun buns, which is a unreleased pattern currently, but it's coming out in just a couple days which is a pretty low sew. The only thing I sew on or that she has you sew on are the ears. And that's a pattern test currently for Krojo Mojo. So cute. Every which way you make these bunnies is adorable and they're really market prep friendly. So if you're gonna choose a big bunny to make, I highly recommend all of the ones that I've made. However, Krojo Mojo's is the quickest. You can get the best bang for your buck if you know what I mean. So because they already, the outfits, you like crochet them on. Um, it does create less sewing, less time. It's like two hours, it took me two hours and that was the second one. So I'm sure the more you do it, the less time it even takes, but this is just me, I was pattern testing. So Krojo Mojo took two hours and I charged $40 and both of those sold. They were like my first items to sell and the couple people who saw it before they sold loved them. So something to keep in mind people like that the outfits were already on the bunnies as well so there's that and uh, then I had a large bunny in a onesie this was a am I by Abby pattern purchase pattern and uh, the large bunny I charge $70 the onesie took me forever to make and I don't think I'm gonna be making another onesie again I'm gonna be making the bunnies again but I don't think I'm gonna do a onesie like that if I do a onesie I'm gonna do her method of the hood but I'm gonna do it to the like body like I'm gonna put the outfit on the body kind of like Krojo Mojo style because that was really beneficial so that's what I noticed if I do it again that's how I'm gonna do it and then I had two Philo bunnies $65 that is from not meadow I believe I could be wrong I think it's not meadow And then I had a giraffe, which was a free Instagram pattern. I had him listed for $45. I had two Mama Made mini snugglers. I had Dusty the Dragon and Una the Unicorn. Those never want to sell, <laughs> seemingly, for me. Never, never, never. I still have them. I love them, but, and everyone likes them, but they never sell for me so far. It's been like a couple months. Uh, but I charge 45 for those. I am not willing to go down on my price with that. They do take a hot second. So 45 is how I feel. That is just, you know, for the for his huge tail and then for her, like all the back like hair stuff. So I really do feel like that's justified. And then I had two Huey the Highland cow. I gave I gave neither of my Hueys the Highland Cow floof, but it's really cute with the floof. I just didn't do it to mine. Um, I made like a boyfriend and a girlfriend version. I charged $55 for them. Those are my mo like more recent makes. Most of this big stuff I did make like this past week, as you saw. Thanks for coming out and uh, hanging out with me here. But uh, the two Hueys that I had were $55. That is a pattern by At Dawn Crochet and her little heart on the butt is so cute and it works out. I did it, you know, both times and it worked out perfectly both times. It might just be tension, but the heart on the back is really a good touch. People love it. And then I had Samba the Elephant, which is by Melly Inspired Crochet and I had Samba for $35. A lot of people like the elephant. I think what I need to do next time is have a couple more elephants and then she might go. Just having one, like an odd, odd number, like an off number, doesn't always draw the attention. Speaking of drawing attention though, I had one moth, which is a pattern test by Knotted Cat Crochet, which is, it's been such a fun pattern test this week. I only made one moth uh, because I was focusing on so many things this week, I do plan on making a ton more moths. But that moth, there was just one, and I put her on the chair on the throne, and for eighteen dollars, 
and everyone loved her everyone like it was she was the queen moth <laughs> sitting there and multiple people tried buying her a couple people like younger adults didn't have the cash on them at the time so they were gonna go and bring it back and then and then it sold by then so uh she was everyone was interested so i was gonna give you guys a little little tip a little hint on what i noticed at my last market i brought a ostrich which was from crochet by janina which was it's just a funny quirky ostrich you know and then i had this moth which like doesn't necessarily go with everything else at my booth like other things go with um but i think having those standoffish items everyone loves it and people wanted like a death moth people wanted the fluffy white moth like which i didn't have at the time which i will be bringing next time so i just wanted to throw that in there that people do like those quirky items not just like the cow or the elephant or the the bunny you know which are like standard items whether like whichever pattern you use you know so those quirky items people really like okay back to the list so then i had two of the groovy flower buddies by raven and jade i charged 30 dollars. those took so much work they took so much work and i think i used posh so they're so small i don't recommend making that pattern in posh because you cannot get your money back basically for the time that you're going to be putting into them if you use a bigger yarn and you charge more you can do that but i am not going to be making the groovy flower buddy again in posh okay uh those took me too long but those didn't sell and then i had a bobo the goblin which is a free instagram pattern and that i charged 30 dollars for bobo people really love how he's um like a mossy color i made him like mossy variegated and people really like him he did not sell yet but people he catches the eye uh, the two princesses have Rapunzel and I have Ariel. I still have both of those dolls and they did not sell. I charged 55 for those. They are really pretty princesses and a lot of people like them too. Maybe, I don't know. A lot of people said they liked a lot of the stuff, but, and it was like one person would choose this and the other person would be like, oh, I really like this one. So it was like different things caught different people's eyes. So like everyone was just like, oh, I love all this stuff. It was always like, I really love this one thing and then they didn't buy it, but, um, but people really liked it. So I don't know if that helps. Maybe it would, maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe it'll help later, like during the holidays. I had four of the Kindred Spirits, which you guys saw me prep last week, I believe. I had four of them. I upped my price to $35 because when I had them at 25, they flew off the shelf. And I feel like the value in them as a specialty keepsake doll, especially with like the attention that I feel like I put into them. I'm gonna be charging 35 for those. Um, and I had four, zero, zero sold. <laughs> um, and those honestly didn't get many compliments, to be honest, but I really enjoy making them. <laughs> and then I had four of the cows, which is a Madeline well one of them was a madeline may co which was the one with the strawberry antlers and then i market prepped as you saw this week um three more cows which are zero gra zero gravity crochet and for all the cows i charged 25. i sold two out of four cows which was pretty good people chose the pink ones both pink babies sold today and then i had so I clumped these all together because they were $25, but I had five baby snugglers. And in my baby snuggler category, I had two Ivies, which are the baby dragon from Cozy Wonder Crochet. I had this jackalope or uh, bunny. It's a bunny, but there's also a jackalope pattern. Um, this is going to be releasing tomorrow or in two days. So this is a pattern test. Um, so this one. And then uh, there was also... Cozy Wonder Crochet Binks, which looks like Dobby. Uh, so I, I lumped them all together in this one. And I had a Mellow Stitches Bunny, which is not a snuggler. Like these are all unstuffed pretty much. Uh, the Madeline or the Mellow Stitches is a stuffed bunny. And it, her pattern typically has a flower on top. I did not crochet the flower on top. I just made the sitting bunny and it's so cute. Uh, so the sitting bunny sold and this one sold this is actually pop about this <laughs> for my sister's birthday her birthday is today so i'm gonna be going to see her later and he bought this for her her favorite colors are blue and she loves bunnies so um that's why i still have it but it's sold 
So two out of my five $25 babies sold. Um, yeah. And then I had two crocodiles, zero crocodiles sold. I had two of the tulip book covers, zero sold. I had two turtles, uh, small free Instagram pattern turtles, both turtles sold. I had one Squishmallow Instagram flamingo left. No one really knows it's a flamingo, it's just a pink bird, but that one it was $15, no one bought it. Five Triceratops total and two sold from Club Crochet. People really love those Triceratops. I know I said I would be probably discontinuing carrying them, but people really love it. So I think I'm going to keep carrying them. I'll just be switching up the colors that I make them in. They're really easy to make. I really don't mind making them. It's just every crochet artist typically has them. So I was worried I wasn't going to be selling, but because I still have them and they're still selling, I might make more of those for markets. <laughs> Inventory is constantly adjusting. I'm constantly figuring out like what I want to still carry so that I'm at that stage of business. I mean, I think you're always going to be in that stage of business, figuring out like what you want to continue carrying, what you want to bring back, you know, all that good stuff. And then I had one leggy froggy from Not Jaded Co. And I charged $15 and he sold. I had a grumpy face and he had his arms crossed and he was a fan favorite today or yesterday. And then I had one Hello Kitty and Hello Kitty sold. She was $10. I had three Kirby's, uh, zero out of three Kirby sold. They were also $10. I had one little axolotl left from Knot and Stitches Crochet. Oh my gosh. She just chose me for one of her pattern tests, by the way. Ellis the elephant so excited, but she has a free axolotl pattern that I really love using. And I had one axolotl left and the axolotl did not sell today, but they are so tiny and cute and people love it. But um, no one purchased it today at, or yesterday at the mall. And then I had pocket pals. So there were a total of six. I had like a flamingo, a duck, two bunnies, two chickens. Um, zero out of six sold so I might have my price too high there this is the second market I had all six I brought all six I have all six still so I think I might be lowering the price I don't know what to yet um but I know when there's someone who has a baby those are baby safe and like good baby size so we'll see currently I um, still have them so I might be lowering my price on those and then I had a total of 12 keychains my keychains include uh, a free B pattern by Crochet by Janina. I include the Baby Leggy Froggies, which is paid by Not Jaded Co. that I put on keychains. And then Andy Light Creations, her free duck pattern, uh, which you can change into a chick or a rooster, or you could change that bird into so many different birds. So I put, um, I think I had a couple chicks and a mallard, but on keychains. So I had a total of 12. Oh, and, um, octopus pattern by crochet with a shroot I think uh, she has a multiple pack of octopus patterns and I used opal which I showed you guys when I was pattern or market prepping but I put I think five opals on keychains and I sold out of all of the keychains there were 12 total because I had a couple of each one and I sold three keychains total out of 12 which is that those having those consistently and having like a little variation I always sell some of those keychains uh, those are my lowest price item on my table and parents typically let the kids get those so that is what I had I also had um four blueberries I had zero blueberry sell I had one banana um which was Junie the banana which is a free Instagram pattern and I had one strawberry and none of the fruit sold. Well, I had one blueberry sell. I sold the blueberry, uh, which was by Yarnacles. So blueberries by Yarnacles. Banana is free Instagram. I forget what the name was on that. It's in the pattern link. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Everything that I'm forgetting right now is in the pattern link. Uh, and that's it. That's all the stuff that I had. Uh, so my retail um, cost 
for my 79 starting items, 79 items that I brought totaled about 13 or $1,400, about. Uh, I sold 16 items and um, my total like total cash quantity of everything was $300, give or take. So let's talk about this. <laughs> let's just talk about this market. $307 is fantastic. I made back my booth fee. I am not in the negative. I made back my gas and my lunch actually for that day. And I still made a little bit of profit. I didn't subtract my materials yet. Probably should do that. Okay. So my $300, my $300 broken down was about $160 cash and $140, uh, 45 card which is why I got to 300. Uh, the fees that I had were $2 for the square fee, $20 for gas, and $70 for the booth, um, which give or take, right? Um, it's about $215 profit, which is fantastic. Like that is so great. Considering this was a mall event, this is not typically where people go for handmade specialty items. $200 profit after my fees. Oh, and then I had 40. It was $40 for my supplies. So 215 minus 40. Okay. After supplies, it was really only like $175 profit. Okay. Which is fine. Um, that's, that's better than I thought I would do. I'm going to go over my experience with this, um, just to talk about like mall experience and how I feel I did as a crochet completely handmade vendor. I have some stuff to tell you guys. I have some information to give you and I feel like my experience needs to be shared because I want you guys to know this. Number one, I signed up for this the night before, but I messaged the coordinator multiple days before asking her if there were going to be any other crochet artists there and about like her foot traffic if she knows because it seems like they do this event every month. So it should, she should know her foot traffic or be able to tell me that. And I sent her this message multiple days, almost a week in advance. I heard nothing back from her. So I purchased the event because the weather looked good. So I purchased the event the night before, which you're allowed to do. Um, it's not juried. And she texted me that night with the location and what time like you can start setting up. That's how it came across. And so I have been to multiple events at this point and they normally say, Say the event starts at 10. You can start setting up at 8 a.m., but you have, this is just common knowledge, you have from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. to set your booth up, and it's not like you have to be there by 8 a.m. They would say that if you did, right? Well, I showed up to this event. Um, she said you could start setting up at 9. That's what the message said. So I knew it takes me not even a full hour, but I'm going to give myself a full hour and 20 minutes to set up. So I show up. 9:40, and get pooped on I'm gonna use polite words here I got pooped on for showing up 40 minutes late and I was like well I've been to multiple events and I was under the impression because I read her whole guideline which tells you what expectations are blah 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 I read your whole guideline and I was not under the impression that you have to be here by nine um and she said people line up at 8 30 I don't know what you're talking about I'm like I understand that other vendors have been here before and so they know but I've never vended with you before and I read your guidelines and I was under the impression that you have a two-hour wingspan to set up because that's normal and I could set up anytime within the two hours so I gave myself an hour and 20 minutes and I'm sorry that I'm here late and past your expectations and I am sorry next time I will know and this is what I said I was like next time I know and I will be here promptly um but I it was not clear to me that that was the situation and so I felt immediately uncomfortable um, because now not only was this addressed and this is now an issue with me, I'm the only vendor that this is like an issue with now. Um, I proceed to get placed right nearby enough where the, ven the host who sells uh, is now directly staring right at my booth and I'm facing a storefront and she is it's just uncomfortable. So I'm just going to be honest. 
I was really uncomfortable with the way that this was all addressed and I had a really uncomfortable time setting up my whole booth with her just staring at me the whole time. So I've never had this experience before. Normally it's an outdoor market, really light, friendly. Here's your, here's your area, go set up. And then like, you know, but it's in a fixed indoor area and I am placed now uncomfortably in front of her. So I set up and it's fine. And then she comes over and examines my stuff and she's like, quiet you know and there's different people who examine your stuff there's people who are like oh my gosh so cute and there's people who like look and they're like oh and then there's silent people and then there's people who like look at the tag and walk away and she was just one of the silent but she's like the host so it was really I had a really awkward time I'm gonna be super honest and then I was worried because I'm like now I'm here by myself for eight full hours okay plus the hour of setup before and she's right there and I have no one to keep me company, no one to like distract my thoughts from like, I'm not beef, I dwell on things. And so I'm dwelling about this like all day. I'm gonna be dwelling about this all day. And Papa saved my butt. He showed up like an hour into the event. He came and hung out with me for multiple hours and just really calmed my mind. Um, and he even agreed because the foot traffic was so slow for me. People like rushed by and if people did have a kid, like normally at a market event, when people come to a market, they'll let their kid look and maybe they won't let the kid have it. Or maybe it'll be a teenager and maybe they don't have the money for it, but they'll look. Uh, at the mall, people aren't there for a handcrafted specialty expensive item. Even if it's my cheap stuff, um, my affordable $10, like, cause I have a whole section of like affordable stuff. And parents, I heard so many parents today telling their kid, no, 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 walk, 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 go, 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 like, don't stop. And I heard it a lot, like, people wouldn't even stop and look. So, as a, as a person who knows how it feels to be, like, hunted down, and I, I've been to events, um, I want to be greeted, but I don't want to be, like, dogged down, and I don't want it to be uncomfortable. So, my method of vending is I greet everyone, I say hi, like, if they look. I say, hi, how you doing? How's your day? Um, and if they respond, they do. I respond back. If they don't, I just keep crocheting or I just, you know, greet other people. But if you're walking by real fast, I am not yelling hi at you because you clearly don't want to be interacted with, right? So everyone who's rushing by, like it happens so much all day. It's just really not the place that bird is going off. I wrote down uh, slowness, not the right environment. Um, crocheters stopped by. I got a lot of bonding, a lot of experience with uh, talking to other crocheters. A couple people just admire plushies when they can only do wearables or blankets. And it was a really sweet experience to chat about like what we love crocheting. So um, they purchased things from me and I really, that was really kind of them. Uh, I got a lot of Pokemon requests. I was sat right in front of a gaming store, which is really cool because I like gaming. Um, but I only had like little Kirby's and everyone asked me for Pokemon, like everyone. And I had no Pokemon at this event. Sometimes I have like um, that free Shinecrafts, Eevee or Pikachu. But at this one, I had zero and I got a lot of requests. So it's funny because I do have the Sia and Pen snugglers. And I think maybe I'll just make one of each. I mean, I'll be at a different event next time. I'm not going back to this mall, I don't think. But I think it'd be cool to have all of her pocket monsters created and then my breakdown which is really quick um by the way so breaking down with that big grid wall is so easy uh, I really enjoy it and when I'm by myself for sure it's easier than a table so that was just my thought I wanted to share that uh, my experience now this is my second time having that wall and I really really like it to a point where they're so expensive but I'm willing to maybe purchase another one so I just wanted to give you guys my little feedback on that grid wall. I'm not going to be doing a mall again. I don't know if maybe it's just the area that I'm in, but I don't think malls are right for crochet plushies. I'm going to be honest. Um, so if you're here and you make crochet plushies, I don't think that's for us. If you see a mall event, I mean, it's hot. It gets hot here in Florida. So I was thinking that might be like a good summer thing. Like they do it all throughout the summer. So I was like, maybe I could do that in the summer. It's not, um, people don't go there for that. So people are going there for all the big chains and then they happen to pass like handmade stuff, but definitely sign up for market craft maker events, even like a con. Like I see, um, oh gosh, is it Lumiel? I think her name's Alyssa. 
but she uh, is an amazing crochet artist and she goes to cons, which are like two to three day like events. And that seems to work really well for like the cute plushy stuff. So definitely avoid, um, be avoiding malls, like for my products in the future. Um, but I really enjoyed being a part of everything that I was able to like experience, you know what I mean? I met a lot of people, got a couple custom orders. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your presence and I can't believe we hit over 2,000 subscribers. If you're here and watching or if you wanna watch any of my other videos, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help and hit the like and if you wanna share it, do that, go for it. I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.